let's be honest, it was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants who make this country go. Um, <laughs> I just texted my best friend, my best friend of 14 years, literally half of my life, I'm 28, and I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? person is my best friend. As Hollywood is in panic, some are deleting X account, calling up Elon Musk. According to this lady, actress Christiana Applegate goes on bizarre extra telling her followers to unfollow her if they voted for Trump. Please unfollow me if you voted against female right, against disability right, yeah, that unfollow me because what you did is unreal. Don't want followers like this, so here, yeah, don't. Also, after today, I will be shutting down this fan account that I have had for so many years because this is C. Mm, I don't get the point. Nobody is even talking about this again. The victory is already there. Ranting, deleting, asking people to unfollow you. Nobody cares at this time. We are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We cannot give up. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has precedent. And we find ourselves, I believe, in a time where there are let's say peers in history of mass movements of people that mobilize to protect one another in times of fascism uh, and authoritarianism. And this is the era that we are poised to enter. Um, Donald Trump has talked about turning the military on U.S. citizens that he deems his domestic political enemies. Um, authoritarians and people that he affiliates closely with and strong men abroad uh, in regimes like that, it is not uncommon to jail political dissidents or legislative opponents. Um, this is the world that we very realistically may be entering. I'm devoting few days just to cover this murder from these people. I understand they will recover with time, but it is extremely difficult at this time. A lot of people are anticipating, waiting to see reactions coming from the view. What I saw is what I expected. So they are not handling this well. They don't just want to believe that Kamala did not win. And at the same time, they did not realize that they caused all this. If you have been following these people, you realize Kamala had an interview where Sonny Austin asked questions like comparing the two administrations if there will be a difference. Kamala made a mistake like the administrations will be the same like hers that respond stir up a lot of reactions on social media backlash of people trash her people change their minds that single day that is to clearly tells you the minds people have when issues like this are rising and it's important i show you some of these videos if you have not subscribed to this channel please never should do that 
Double up for more good clips like this. You'll be laughing every single day. No, I'm profoundly <coughs> disturbed. Um, I think if you look at the New York Times this morning, uh, the headline was America makes a, a perilous choice. I think that in 2016, we didn't know what we would get from um, a Trump administration, but we know now. And um, we know now that he will have almost unfettered power. And so I worry not about myself, actually. I don't worry about my station in life. I worry about the working class. I worry about my mother, a retired teacher. I worry about our elderly and their social security and their the Medicare. Children. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have. And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. So again, I'm profoundly disturbed that the 14th Amendment of the Constitution did not prevent someone who participated in an insurrection from becoming president of the United States. I think that going forward, the convicted felon box on employment applications better be taken off because if you can be the president of the United States, then you should, then you should not be prevented from employment in this country because I remember applying for my jobs in, as a, a federal prosecutor and there was a box for convicted felons. Well, and so that box better better be taken off. And I, I think our health care system is now at risk. I think um, no econ fluoride for anyone. Yeah, economists have made <laughs> clear that um, he's going to increase the debt by seven point seven five trillion dollars. I'm worried about mass deportation and internment camps, and I'm also worried about Elon Musk warning Americans to prepare for temporary hardship. Um, I'm surprised at the result, but I'm not surprised. As a woman of color, I was so hopeful that a mixed race woman married to a Jewish guy could be elected president of this country. Uh -huh. And um, I think that it had nothing to do with policy. I think this was a referendum of um, cultural resentment in this country. When I see this lady doing this every single day, not everything revolves around race. She cannot actually give a political commentary without linking things like this. Kamala did not win. Acknowledge that and move on. Yeah. Struggling to say, oh, it's because of uh, this color, this. It is crazy to me. Don't call people's this race issue has not worked for a very long time. I don't know if she realized that continuing to do this every day is bringing more problems to the Democrat Party. They think it's a good idea when they sit like this, oh, try to read, ah, oh, I said by Russia. That is the most ridiculous thing. I don't want to hear when I talk with someone, every misunderstanding you take up a link to race. It is insane. The only person that struggled to push back when she said this was Alisa. I really wish if she can continue with that, though she has been crazy throughout this show. But now Trump won, she's struggling to change her tone. I, I just say, Rev, really quickly, yeah. too. Democrats need to be mature and they need to be honest. And they need to say, yes, there is, there's misogyny. But it's not just misogyny from white men. Mm -hmm. It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Right. It's misogyny from black men. Things we've all right. been talking about who do not want a woman leading them. Might be race issues with Hispanics. They don't want a black woman as president of the United States. You know, the, 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 the Democratic Party, I've always found when you're sitting around talking, they love to just sort of balkanize everybody into these separate groups and say, oh, white people don't like women and uh, black people. No, this is, this is, it is time for the Democrats to say, OK, and you and I have talked about this before. A lot of Hispanic voters have problems with black candidates. Right. A, a lot and of, with other Hispanics. And, You've got some and, exactly. that don't like each other. And, right. and some of the most misogynist things I've heard going on in this Get Out the Vote tour came from black men. I mean, misogynist things. So you're yeah. absolutely right. It's not simplistic. And we've right. got to have real honest conversations about it. Real so, honest. Look at the people. This is actually funny. <laughs> when I see these people talking about identity politics, 
the same people who push this every day, they are the same people now talking because they are they continue to lose every single because of this. It is not working. If you want to succeed, keep identity politics aside. MNBC play a great time role. We have Joy Reid. That's in fact, it's every single day. The view is doing the same thing. If these people don't adjust, a lot of people will continue to tilt away from the Democrat Party. Uh, I'm so proud of her. Um, America failed women. But we know now. Definition of protect out Trump over it. Throw a birthday party. Hey, you're calling yourself. If you are doing what he does at age 71. The, uh, Take the white out It's of that. just the, about the working game, class people. The, the, the Can I just add one other thing? I've been to focus on not putting in play. I will call for Donald Trump once again elected to the White House.